Hello friends. Some time ago I published in my channel a video of how to make a slide copier. The problem is that that slide copier was designed specifically for this camera. It was designed for the size of the lens and also for the ability of this camera to focus at a certain distance. So this slide copier you can't adapt it to any other camera. The other problem it has is that it's made with metal, with copper. And to be able to build it, you ha needed special materials, special equipment. You have to braze it, and it's not easy to do. So now in this video, I'm going to show you how to build, how to make a slide copier adapted to your camera. You can adapt it to any kind of camera and it will be built with very simple, easy to get materials with no much fuss in the construction. Very easy to build. So, let's go to the video. To make this slide copier, we need the following. A piece of PVC tube, 50 millimeters in diameter. A saw to cut the, the PVC. An old sock preferably dark or black and we need a pair of grids. A grid with horizontal and vertical lines separated one centimeter between each one. And another grid with horizontal lines separated also one centimeter between each. All cameras have different features. This camera, according to its handbook, says that the minimum focus distance for this camera is 5 centimeters. Hmm? But we have to check that and find out if that is true or not. Hmm? So we put the camera, the body of the camera, along this line, which is a zero, and we bring our grid towards the lens as close up as possible, and we test to see if it's focusing correct or not. If it isn't, we move it back a bit and we keep on moving it back till we see that the camera is telling us that it is green and so it is in good focus, focusing well. Hmm? When we get green lines, we take note of that distance and that distance would be the size of a slide copier. Hmm? Additionally, here we can define the amount of image that will be photographed in the camera. The size of the field of view of this lens at minimum focus. Hmm? If the slide, if it, if it can photograph the whole slide or part of it, that is a transparent slide. But that's basically how we find the size of the slide copier and the width of the field of view. Okay, now that we know what size our tube needs to be, we can cut the tube and we put it on the camera to make a test. We put it there and we put a slide on the other side we take the photograph and then we'll notice that somehow stray light gets in through between the slide and the tube and also it can get in through the tube between the tube and the lens. So we should try and seal those parts. With this side on the side of the camera we can put a sock there. Well uh, we can stick it on here with some adhesive, but on the camera we can't stick it on. What we'll do, I'll show you. Now, the fact we have to put a sock here and separate the tube from the camera means that this distance is not right. We will have to move the slide back the same distance that we have increased here okay and this will be the position of our slide so either here we cut 
the tube completely or we just cut it to the sides so we can slide the, the slide in and out. Hmm? In any case, we will have to cover this part with some material that will give us a good seal against the slide. So, turning the sock in like this many times makes the inner diameter smaller so it fits on better and seals any stray light from the camera. On the other side, if we have a, a straight cut through all the tube, we can simply stick a bit of cloth here on the edge. If we cut a slice down here so we can slide the, the slide in and out we will have to stick something on the inner rim so that also stops stray light from getting in. The saw blade might not be the precise width, the precise size to get your slide completely to the bottom. So you will have to help it out a bit using some sandpaper to make it the right width. Once you've done the cut all the way down and you place the slide in it, making sure there's no stray light coming out on the bottom, then you can put some reinforcements on the sides to make sure it won't open up or cut or break eventually. Hmm? Like this. Hmm? Then you get a camera, we put the sock on it, make sure the sock covers all the lens, nicely covered there so no stray light gets in. Then we have to place the slide copier in front of a white bit of paper that receives indirect light, reflects on the paper and gets into the camera. And there we can see if it's focusing right, it'll get green. That's it. And we take the picture. With this camera, that's the option we have. And with this camera, we should use this one. But let's see what happens with this one. Can we do it with this one? It's too far away. Let's see if we can focus in a, a bit closer. <clears throat> no, the zoom won't let us focus closer. We'd have to separate it more from the camera. You can only get it there. So, we'll have to use this tube. With this other camera, then we use a smaller tube. We put the slide in to the bottom. We put the sock over it. And we push it as far in as possible to stop any stray light and to get as near to the lens as possible to get the best coverage field of view. We straighten it up. You put a white light and we 
trick when it has a good focus we click it and that's it only two things we must have in mind also is we must try and keep the plane of the image in the same plane as the slide because otherwise on some part it might lose focus or it will lose uh, it have problems with perspective and on the other hand we must try and avoid movements while we're taking the picture finally last thing we have to do is paint the tube on the inside of a color black <coughs> this way we avoid the light that comes in through the slide bounces on the walls of the tube and paints our picture blue or the color of whatever color your tube is hmm? so paint it black on the inside and you'll have a great slide copy well I hope you liked this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up subscribe share it and thanks for watching bye bye